today I have a great recipe for sourdough meat bread. So, here we go! Today, we're introducing a Japanese technique to make our bread softer, fluffier, and yummier. Tang Song, and forgive me if I pronounce it bad, is a technique that helps the starch in the flour absorb more liquid and make your final bread more moist and last longer. To start the Tang Song, combine 40 grams of flour and 200 grams of water in a pot and stir with a silicone spatula until all the ingredients are well combined. Turn on the stove to medium high heat and keep stirring until you have a very thick consistency like this one. Make sure to not let your mix boil. Turn off the stove and transfer to a bowl to cool. While your tang song is cooling down, prepare a stiff starter. Mix 40 grams of water. Forty grams of sourdough starter. and 100 grams of flour. Mix well with a silicone spatula. You can use your hands to knead for about one minute. Place it in a clean jar and place a rubber band around it to mark the level of your starter. Cover with a lid and let it rest overnight on the counter. Cover your tang song with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge overnight. The next morning, your starter should look like this one. In a bowl, mix 300 grams of bread flour, 30 grams of sugar, six grams of dry milk, and six grams of salt. Mix your dry ingredients well with a whisk. In a stand mixer, combine 125 grams of milk, one egg, 90 grams of stiff starter, and all of the tanks on. Use the dog hook to mix it until all is combined. Add the dry ingredients to your bowl and continue mixing until all the ingredients are well combined. Add 50 grams of butter at room temperature, cut into pieces. Keep mixing until the dough pulls off the walls of the bowl. Finish kneading by hand until the dough is soft and elastic. You can poke the dough and if it springs back up, it will be ready. Place in a grease bowl and cover with plastic wrap. Let it proof in a warm place. I'm using my dough proofer to proof my dough at 86 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight hours. After eight hours, take the dough out of the bowl and divide it in three equal pieces. You can use a scale to get even pieces. To pre-shape, make three balls of dough. Making sure to add enough tension to your dough.
cover with plastic wrap and let rest on the counter for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, touch your working table and roll in pin with flour. Roll your dough until you get a 10 inch long piece Then fold the dough into the middle from both sides. And press firmly. Rotate the dough 90 degrees. Fold into the middle and press firmly. Then roll the dough into a log shape and press the ends firmly. Place seam side down in an 8 by 4 inch pan. Repeat the same process for the remaining pieces of dough. Let proof in a warm place for about 4 hours. or until the dough grows almost to the rim of the pan. Mix some milk with one egg. And brush on top of the dough. Place it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 24 minutes or until your bread is golden brown. Brush it with melted butter as soon as you take it out of the oven. Wait at least 15 minutes before you take it out of the pan. I am sure you're gonna love the texture, softness and flavor of this milk bread. I really hope you can make this recipe. I know you're gonna love this bread. Please leave me any questions or comments in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.